everybody, this is Zoe from No Safer Place. And today I am going to be doing a video that I have been super excited to film. I got in touch with one of my favourite brands recently called The Literary Emporium and they sell some amazing bookish products, in particular products that are related to classic books which as you know I'm a huge fan of and I'm wanting to talk about them a lot more on my channel recently. So I got into touch with them and asked them if they'd like to do a collaboration with me and they kindly offered a giveaway which I am super super jealous of this prize. If I could take this prize I would. It is absolutely gorgeous. As you know my favourite book is Dracula so I had to get something Dracula themed. So I have chosen this gorgeous gorgeous pin. I know you can't see it very well because it's a little bit reflective but it says I think strange things on it and it's from their gothic literature collection which as you know huge fan of literature and a huge fan of gothic literature. So I thought this was perfect for my channel so if you want to win this beautiful pin make sure you keep watching this video. So to tie in with today's giveaway I thought I would talk you through the Barnes and Nobles classics that I have. I actually have seven. Now I'm not going to talk too much about them, I'll probably just show you them. Most of them are titles that you should all be very very familiar with. You may not have read them but you will definitely have heard of them. They all actually live on this bookshelf up here so I've just taken them all down. And I will admit, I've not read many of these. I have read the more obvious ones that you guys know I love but for me this was more an aesthetically pleasing thing. I love seeing them on the bookshelf, they look absolutely stunning. Let's get on with the video. The first one I actually talked about recently in one of my videos, it is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Now I actually just watched a movie adaptation of this. Now I tend to stay away from watching adaptations of books that I really really love, especially classic ones because they're changed so much. But I watched Victor Frankenstein, the one with Daniel Radcliffe in, and I absolutely adored it. It was such a good film. And obviously there were a lot of differences in the book to the film, but I thought it was a very good adaptation of it. And as I always say, if you want to dip a toe into the world of a classic, I think you should always try a film version or an abridged version just so you can get your mind around it slightly. So if you've not read Frankenstein and you want to dip your toe in, watch Victor Frankenstein because it is awesome and it gives you a very good idea of what the storyline of Frankenstein is like. All of the Barnes and Nobles classics have these gorgeous silver sprayed pages. Some of them are gold, but the majority of ones that I have are silver. Most of them have quotes on the back, which I absolutely adore. This one says, you are my creator, but I am your master obey. I love the lightning. The lightning is very significant in the book. If you don't know what Frankenstein is about, it is about a man that decides he is going to bring someone back from the dead, create his own life form, and surprisingly he uses electricity to do so. He is a very very mad scientist and this is such a crazy book. Of course they bring him to life but Frankenstein's monster is not quite as happy as his creator. That is all I'll say about that one. The next one is the story of King Arthur and his knights. Now you can obviously tell from this picture that it starts with King Arthur pulling out the sword from the stone which is such a well-known story and also contains our favourite wizard Merlin and it also shows you how he chooses the knights for the knights at the round table which I thought was really really interesting. Again, this one has silver splayed edges, absolutely beautiful. I actually only got this book because it reminded me of Merlin and I absolutely loved the TV show Merlin and I wanted to get a better idea of what the original story was like and how well they'd adapted it onto the TV screen. And also, Disney's The Sword in the Stone is one of my favourite Disney films. So again, I wanted to know where the inspiration had come from. Again, the covers are beautiful and have gorgeous quotes on the back. What I love about the covers is they're so perfectly suited to the story. It just ties in perfectly. The next book I've spoke about so much on my channel and I've already told you in this video that it is my favourite classic and the reason I chose the pin. It is A Dracula by Bram Stoker. If you don't know the story of Dracula, there is a lawyer called Jonathan Harker who goes to settle some estate with this guy called Count Dracula in Transylvania. He goes there and realises that things are not quite as they seem and that Dracula is hiding a lot. So obviously we all know Dracula is a vampire, the most famous vampire of all time. And Jonathan finds himself 
in a little bit of a pickle, especially when Dracula returns to England with him. It is absolutely fantastic and I know you're probably all familiar with this so if you haven't read it please do because it is the best classic ever. Also this one has the gorgeous silver edges and the back cover looks like this. Oh I'd imagine Dracula's castle to look. There are also a few other horror classics in here which I've not actually read so you are getting quite a few stories in here. Also I think these were between 10 and 20 pounds each depending on the size of them which I think is really really good considering the really really thick ones are only around 20 pounds and obviously they're Barnes and Noble so they're shipped from America. I think you're getting a pretty good deal. Now, I'm gonna blitz through the last four because I've just noticed this video is already 10 minutes and I've not even done half or explained the giveaway rules. The next one I can't really tell you much about anyway because so that was the postman bringing me books and I'm very very excited because there are some amazing books in there. Anyway, back to the video. As I was saying, this one is my absolute favourite book from this collection. It was actually the first one that I bought and I then decided that I had to get more of these because they were so beautiful. It is The Complete Towers and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. I won't talk about this one too much because I recently put this in my favourite covers video because who wouldn't love this cover? If you like creepy gothic literature, this is perfect. I actually discovered Edgar Allan Poe from watching The Following. The Following is one of my favourite TV shows and if you didn't know, it is about this cult that is based around the works of Edgar Allan Poe because their leader is just completely obsessed with him. And after I watched that, I just had to know more. I had to know where all this inspiration and their stories had come from. And just so you know, there is some seriously dark stuff in here. If you like to be creeped out, if you like the dark, twisty literature, this is the one for you. And the last one I got for Christmas a few years ago. Again, it is really, really beautiful and one of my favourite classic authors. It is A Christmas Carol and Other Christmas Stories. Now, I don't feel like I need to explain A Christmas Carol. I'm sure all of you know about Scrooge and his visits from the ghosts of the Christmas past, present and future and the way he turns his life around. If you don't, you seriously need to read this book. It is one of the most heartwarming Christmas stories and I'd say one of the most popular ones that whenever I think of Christmas or think of the popular bar humbug expression we all use these quotes and we all love these characters and I think this one looks very very Christmassy it is just beautiful and makes the perfect Christmas present so let's get on with the giveaway rules. If you would like to win this gorgeous pin, and this competition is based in the UK only, all you have to do is comment down below what your favourite classic is, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Those are the only two rules. There will also be an extra post on Instagram if you would like an extra opportunity to win. As I say, just leave your favourite classic and make sure you're subscribed. It will run for one week and then I will contact the winner and get this sent out as soon as possible. Thank you again to the Literary Emporium for sending me this beautiful pin. I cannot wait for it to go to a new owner. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you would like to see more of on my channel and I hope to see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye.